What is going on, all you beautiful, gorgeous subscribers over here at the Search and Destroy Elite? My name is Tyler, or Deathly I am, and most of you guys will know me as the special autistic fuck who is the half owner of the Search and Destroy Elite, along with the Canadian Tyler over there, uh, Mr. DY5. So, what I've got here on this channel for you guys today is a sick special gameplay on the map of Turbine running a laser sight PDW with a suppressor and I believe fast mags as well. Um, this is such a hard thing to think of like what my perks are. With the pick 10 you have such a drastically different uh, approach to how you run things with the variety of your kits that you can select and so it's really hard for me to keep them straight because I'm constantly mixing things up and trying new things so I can be a better player in search and destroy it just to find out what works and what doesn't. And that's really what the game type's about, you know. Um, Black Ops 2 is such a drastically feel. I'm sure those of you guys who've been playing and uh, or have been watching other game type or listening to other search and destroy commentators have noticed that Black Ops 2 is unlike any other search and destroy experience from any previous game. And so, with that in mind, it's taken us a long time. Um, you know, you can ask any of the other members uh, to adapt to the game. You know, to figure out the ins and outs of it and just get used to how it plays, you know, with the skill-based matchmaking, all of us are having such a hard time getting the map knowledge and the gun type knowledge and everything down so that we can be the beast players that we're so used to being on any of the other Call of Duties. Now, um, this video is a, like I mentioned before, a Warthog gameplay, so with that in mind, I'm going to give you guys... A general rundown of some tips and tricks for Search and Destroy um, with how you guys can get such high score streaks in Search and Destroy. And number one is right here, destroying enemy equipment. Um, unlike Modern Warfare 3 where you only got points toward your kill streaks when you planted or defused the bomb, Black Ops 2 offers additional score streak points um, for being a team player, which is what you should always have been doing anyway, but now Black Ops 2 is rewarding you for being that team player, going out and destroying enemy equipment, putting up UAVs, uh, destroying RC cars, or planting and defusing the bomb. You're going to get points for doing these things, and those are all going to go toward your score streak. So in order to get a higher score streak like I do in this gameplay here with the Warthog, is you really got to go out there and just be gung-ho team player, just fucking go after it. Everybody loves a guy who's a team player, and anybody who plays Search and Destroy doesn't like playing it alone without getting frustrated. I mean, I play the game type and I, solo, and I honestly, I rage quit a lot. Uh, there's so much bullshit, I want to stand there and die from a BS death, and then stand there and watch, you know, for two minutes as my retarded teammates run around and don't do anything correctly. So, if you guys are going to play Search and Destroy, why not play it to be the best that there is? And one way you can do that is getting these beast ass score streaks that are going to help your team win. And the only way you're going to accomplish that is if you're a general, all around good player and you're a team player. You know, in line with the team player, somebody who puts their mic in while they're playing Search and Destroy and makes those call outs is going to help everybody in your team accomplish the end result, which is to win. You know, Search and Destroy Moabs <laughs> are all impressive and everything, but the end of the game type, the definitive purpose of playing Search and Destroy is to win, and so if you're not going to put in your mic, you're not going to do these callouts, you're not going to be that team player destroying equipment or putting up UAVs or planting and defusing the bomb, you know, why are you playing? What, what is your purpose in playing the game? And so here at the Search and Destroy Elite, we offer you guys a variety of content and play styles to try and give you guys general ideas on how you can improve upon yourselves as Search and Destroy players so that we, when we interact with you on the online community, you're all set and ready to go to kick some ass in the lobby with us, you know? That's just how things are. Um, two other things I'd really have to stress with Search and Destroy and Black Ops 2, or just, well Black Ops 2 especially, any other Search and Destroy, map knowledge is so key. You've got to know those rush routes, you've got to know where people are coming from, you got to know how to set up for it, you got to know you know how you can place yourself in an advantage so that when you see the enemy team they're at a disadvantage now um, I'm not gonna try and explain how I got into defused here one of the key things in this story is to watch the fucking bomb after you plant it and I guess I was a little bit too excited to get my warthog and with the host migration you know I was the only one showing up on screen come on Treyarch you're better than that um, so I didn't know how many people was left and I ended up getting into defused shit happens watch the bomb lesson learned but um, with Black Ops 2, 
one of the other key factors to being a better player in the game type is I've got to say laser sight. Oh my god, that attachment is just one of the most key things you could possibly imagine in this game. Search and Destroy is all about those gun-on-gun -gun battles, those man versus man, baby. And you have to be the one that wins the game. And so the only way you're going to do that in those gun battles um, is with that laser sight. Because for me, when I have that laser sight on, it reminds me I can hit fire and I can hit fire accurately. And the whole point of hit fire accurately is you get your shots off and off accurately into your enemy into the enemy before they even get a chance to pull up their sights or if they do they're getting minimal shots off because you're just gonna run through them Jerome Bettis style you're the fucking boss plowing through one guy two guys three guys just barreling through the other team as you just keep moving your way through and straight on to victory now um score streaks now while a warthog is great you know, there's reasons why people don't push for, like, dogs in Search and Destroy. Because, honestly, you get them for one round, and by the time you're able to call them in with a 15-second delay, you know, especially with the guys we play with, everybody's going to have, you know, three or four of the guys dead, and your dog's going to get one or two kills. So you're going to want to try and select score streaks that are reasonable toward the game type, you know, or toward your skill level that are going to help the general team you're playing on. Um... I only get two kills with the Warthog here, and as great an accomplishment as it is, I'm sure if I earned it earlier in the round and been able to call it in, um, it would have been better. But, as I said, the Warthog um, and the other score streaks, you guys select stuff that's within your skill range and then also within, you know, the game type range of what being useful. So, those UAVs, Hunter Killers, I still, god, they're fucking hilarious. I love just throwing them up and running around the map and watching them do great. But thank you guys for watching. If you have any other tips or tricks you'd like to offer, put them in the comment section below. We'll read them over and maybe talk about it in our next video. So thanks for watching. Check out my channel. Love you all. Keep supporting the SD Elite. Peace.